All right, Rick Bo, this is for you. My first video I've ever spoken, so be easy on me, boys. Like I told you, Rick, I got this power feed installed. Excuse the shaky video here. And uh, no modifications. The only thing I had to do was elongate two holes to mount her up. And this is the dial I made mention to you. I think it's off a of Grizzly G02907302. Zero seven three one. I don't know for sure, but I will include the part number down in the comments. And uh, bolted right up. No machining necessary. No problems. And you've got the uh, the locking ring on here, so you can back it off and turn it like a like a big boy mill. Works pretty good. The uh, it's from Precision Matthews, and I believe it's the same as a ALS GS. Get them anywhere, all over the internet. So pretty pleased with that. So that's what I got there, and I also put a little DRO on here, glass scales, because well I'm a cheap dick. Little machining and whatnot to get that on there. This is the x-axis bracket I made. Got her within about three thou on the x and two thou on the y, so that ought to be sufficient. Little air hose mount. We whipped up out of stainless and there's the readout. And also a little light I made or the bracket I made for it. Let me go ahead and kill that so it doesn't wash the video out. I don't know how many inches that thing is, eight inches, something like that. Home Despot Special. So, that's it. I'm to show you that, and I will include the part number for that ring. Uh, straight through Grizzly. Hit and miss whether or not they got it in stock. Five week wait if they don't. I lucked out they had one in stock, so I pulled the trigger on it. Thanks for watching.